On the Radio is brought to you by Zurich Insurance, the perfect place to catch up with all things Melbourne. If you enjoy this content and want more inside access from the team, make sure you visit the club website. There is as many smiles as a dentist down here, Shane, and I'm with the Melbourne captain, Max. A five-point win, the call that you heard there, can't believe it. What was said in the coach's room? You're in there for two or three minutes after a pretty loud song. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty cool, eh? Um, we've been on the, the wrong end, especially last week. Um, we watched a lot of vision, a lot of vision on that last ten minutes against Collingwood and um, to see how we, if we get in that position again, which is most likely coming into this time of the year, how we could perform better and to be honest, I thought uh, I thought we might have missed our chance a little bit there when 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 Kerno went back and kicked a goal to get him two kicks in front. But we went back to our basics and um, cool, calm and composed footy. Might not have looked it, but like Melky and Cosie Pickett in the forward fifty. And I've never seen Jaden Hunt play better five five minutes of footy. He was he was crazy off half back. Um, yeah, so good. He was just rewarding us for the fight that we did, particularly with the work we did during the week about that moment. So um, yeah, it's a nice little pat on the back. Maxie Daniel Harford, mate, well done. Uh, a fantastic game of footy, dramatic to the very end. What what do you make of a game like that? Because it wasn't pretty by any stretch of the imagination. He had to really grind clearly all the way through. What did you make of the way the game was played and, and the way you coped with that? Big day for you, Half. You would have got here at about 2 in the armour. <laughs> about one thirty, actually. Sorry about the Melbourne girls. They just got on top, didn't they? It's our practice match. Practice That's, match. <laughs> That's all right. We won't, we, we won't look too far into it. Um, <laughs> what was the question? Because I had that locked and loaded. <laughs> you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make of the, of the contest? Because it was, it was scrappy. It was messy, particularly early. And you, you, know, you guys haven't been in the most scintillating of form in the last eight weeks or so. What, what did you make of your performance as a team tonight? Yeah, so the Collingwood game in particular, and, and Frio, which was the one we won, but those the last two we played a lot of forward half footy. So the stats have really looked good in our favour, and stats are one thing. I've lost a game when against Geelong and Geelong when we've beaten by 30 inside 50. So, like, stats are stats. Yep. You've still got to go out there and do your, and do your thing and connect inside forward 50. But um, to be able to sort of get that result against Collingwood, which is a real negative, beat them by 20 inside 50s and lose the game, to be able to hold your nerve, and almost had a similar game. I don't know what the stats were, but it felt like we had a bit of forward half footy, especially in the third quarter. Um, and keep Carlton sort of lingering around to a point where they were in front by seven points. We had every right just to not throw the towel in, but lose by seven points, really. But uh, that's that's something you want to see at this time of the year. You want to see a little bit of fight. Um, we're going to Brisbane next week. It's not going to get any easier. And then I'm presuming the first final after that's going to be the hardest game of the year for us. So um, it's a good little platform. Max Richo, Alan Richardson, spoke pre-game. He said... A lot of the focus has been on around your defence, which surprised me a little bit because I thought the defence has been... Well, it looked great again tonight, but there's still that, that entry inside forward 50. How have you seen where the issues have been in the video you had to watch this week? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to go against Richo, yeah. so yeah. Um, if he says defence, I'll say defence. Yeah. I love kicking goals, but I'll, I'll, I'll back in Richo with defence. Actually, I kicked a goal tonight, first time in the while, but... Um, Rich, so the defence stuff, look, that keeps us in games. That wins, that wins us games. That... That won us a lot of games last season, won us a lot of games at the start of this year. Um, and, it, and it keeps us in it. Yes, we lost to Collingwood with a really, really good defensive effort and the other stuff you can tidy up. Um, but it keeps us in the game. It keeps us there. So the real disappointing one in the outlier is the Western Bulldogs game where we got our first time 100 points scored against us. And since then, we've played a lot of forward half footy. Uh, and as a result of that, you get beneficial performances from guys like Jake Melton. You mentioned him before. He, he comes in and he looks like he's got a certain role to, to take care of an opposition defender and, and take them out of the contest or get them away from the, the drop zone or where the ball might be a fair bit. Is he the sort of guy that, that loves that, loves the scrap and just wants to be a guy that's it's really important to the structure of the way you play? Yeah, I hate talking about last year because it's a completely different year and you can't base anything that's happening this year off what we did last year. But Melky and Jaden Hunt are two guys that missed out on what we were able to do over in Perth. I mean, they were both there. They were both emergencies. They were a chance to play right up until the end. But in the end, they missed out on that final game. And they've really been driving what we've been trying to do this whole season. And to see them play like that when the finals are on the line, a top four position on the line, like Melky could have kicked five or six, yeah. which is unlike Melky to miss it, to be honest. It's more probably more like me. But <laughs> um, And then Jaden Hunt, like I said before, his last three or four minutes, these guys are driving us. These guys missed out last last year, and they, and, and they want to taste some success. And it's going to take... 
a freak now to move them from their spot. I think hunsey has got that halfback spot probably locked down for him. And Melky looks really good as a third tall. He started. He almost was a plugger out of the square. It was Jacob Dukes coming out of the yeah he was coming coming out of the square to start. And he, and he normally plays on their best defender as well. We normally somehow arrange that. So he he had Weeder in there in the first half, and then McGovern started getting on top of it. So he went to McGovern. Max, appreciate your time post game. Uh, as you say, it doesn't get any easier. Brisbane next week, what a massive Friday night it is. But at the moment, you sit second. It can change, it can stay. We look forward to next week. Thanks for your time on 3RW. Thanks, team.